On April 1st, 2021, I ditched a career I absolutely hated to better myself and do the things I've always wanted to do. And that included my growing love and obsession with Ireland. I want to learn everything. Culture, history, mythology, music, and the language. Which, if I'm being honest, looks really hard to learn, but I'm going to give it the old Smith try. Then, of course, there is my love of pubs and the role that they've played throughout history, and no better example of that than on that beautiful, beleaguered island in the North Atlantic, Ireland. April 1st, 2026, I depart for the Emerald Isle, and for one year, I'll hike town by town and conduct interviews with pub owners, pub regulars, historians, town know-it-alls, musicians, and basically anybody that wants to talk to me. If you'd like to support the project and the journey, basic Patreon support is only three bucks a month, but just liking a video or subscribing to the channel and following the journey is just as helpful. I'm always looking for volunteers to work as liaisons for the project too, so if you live in Ireland and know people, feel free to hit me up. This is a huge goal and I need all the help I can get. The Smitty Learns Irish podcast begins April 26th and will be my life's work. Thank you. Now, this is a band that has been in, I, I, I kind of have a tendency to do this every once in a while, it's kind of fun, just to find a song that has been in my algorithm or that keeps popping up. And it just keeps popping up, and it keeps popping up. I did that to Stephen Wilson recently, and from some of the comments, this dude's been around 30 years, so you can find some great gems this way, uh, like that Stephen Wilson reaction. But this is a band called The Dead South. In hell, I'll be in good company. It looks like it is from the album uh, Good Company, which was out in what year, Smith? 2014. Good solid 10 years ago. So I know nothing about it, but it's been in my algorithm forever. And this song has got, I don't know, over 100,000 uh, views, man. So, uh, uh, and there, I don't know, there could be people that are watching this and saying, oh, there's not a lot of views. Why would you give this the time of day? Dude, I'm all about just finding the good stuff that nobody knows about. That's the whole idea. My mission in life outside of the Ireland thing and this whole thing is just to find all the great rock and roll that I never knew existed. So uh, a lot of times nobody knows. Nobody else knows. How the fuck? I know, you know. <laughs> what the fuck was that that just came out of my face? I might have to isolate that. That's going to have to be a clip. <laughs> Words? Anyway, in hell, I'll be in good company. That sounds fun. If you can effectively throw down a super cool whistle into any part of a song, really, it <laughs> what a mood lifter. And I really am at, uh, uh, first of all, I'm really enjoying this. Uh, I was fully expecting some sort of rock and roll. Very bluegrassy, obviously. I was just thinking, I was doing a reaction to some Southern rock song the other day, and I was just saying, I'm just like, a lot of Southern rock doesn't fucking sit with me. And uh, this, to me, especially with the vocals, still has a very rock and roll vibe. I don't know where it's going to go. Uh, but this is like the Southern rock that I fucking dig. You know, I, I grew up around banjos and shit, man. <laughs> it's you know, Northern Michigan redneck is uh, uh, pretty much the way to put that. Uh, but this is kind of like the vibe that I like for like if so, I don't know if it's going to go the rock and roll vibe. I don't know if it's strictly bluegrass. The vocal on this is killer. Uh, I'm fucking digging it. Anyway, bring it back a little bit and let's see where it goes. You know, if you shut up, you find out. Damn love couldn't go no further. Ooh. 
It's got a real punk rock sort of vibe. And honestly, I'm thinking right now if this is even close to what I was thinking of uh, and have said before, because I react to a lot of Irish music, hence the Smitty Learns Irish podcast. And I say all the time that uh, Irish music in general has so many similarities to like American bluegrass. It's kind of the precursor to that in a lot of ways. Uh, But I said in a previous reaction, I've never really heard like a punk rock delivery of like bluegrass and things like that, which would be, you know, there's a, a whole genre of Irish punk rock that just works. You know what I mean? And I've never heard that sort of thing with like American bluegrass or something like that. American roots music. This feels like it could be that. And if I said those words in a previous podcast, maybe that's why it popped up in my fucking algorithm. It didn't hurt, flirt, blood, squirt, stuff, shirt like me on a tree. After I count down three rounds in hell, I'll be in good company. That flute. Is that a flute? Cool vocals, cool lyrics, man. Fun. I see my redhead mess, bad tear shed, cream be my squeeze. The stage of smells, tells, hells, bells, miss, bells, knocks me on my knees. It didn't hurt, flirt, blood, squirt, stuff, shirt like me on a tree. After I count down three rounds, and hell, I'll be in good company. Man, I fucking really like this. Claps, the whistles, the, everything, the whole package here is really fucking cool. Man, I like that a lot. I kind of want to listen to another song because I'm. It really feels like it's got a punk rock vibe to it, some sort of punk rock vibe to it. And I don't know if they go down that route in other songs. I could be proven entirely wrong. It happens all the time. I'm wrong quite a bit. <laughs> but I really enjoyed that song. And uh, uh, if you're watching this and you say, hey, man, fuck, check out something else from this band. Because uh, I think I want to give this album, I think I want to give this album a listen at some point. Man. Uh, all right. The Dead South. Super fun. McTighe on the live stream says he's convinced that banjos make most songs better. A lot of times, man. That's not wrong. Do do dig a good banjo. What the hell? Everything!